Hello. So today uh, we are going to look inside this filter and this is a magnetic filter that uh, filters the water that's coming back from the radiators on the circuit. So first <clears throat> we switch off the central heating and this has been working for about four, maybe five months. Okay, so what we need to do first, and we will see what's inside here. <sighs> Considering that we already used a bottle of this uh, inhibitor, so this is to inhibit any corrosions inside the circuit. Okay, so first let's close these two valves here. So we close the circuit. Actually, this one from the top goes a little bit harder and let's it's really hard to do with one hand let me put this down somewhere so we will open this valve here so water can escape and is this plastic thingy and after this plastic thingy, we will open this step here, this valve, hopefully. Yeah, it's the only way it can go in. So, maybe it's the other way. I don't think it really matters. So, in which direction should we open this? Okay, and water should come out, there is only two ways for this valve, open and closed, okay, let me, ah, I feel the ball here, so now it is open, so what's inside should come out, and I will just try to open the top first. Maybe there's a vacuum. Okay. So let's take down the top. Water should. I hope this is enough. We already see something is. Okay, that's about it. There is an interesting smell here. So let's see if we can take the filter out without taking it off from this position. And it's not. It should come. Off. Okay, so let's see. Actually, it's not so bad. I think this uh, inhibitor has a really good thing to it. Yeah, the water is clean. So, this is what I used, and I have another liter, uh, no, 500 milliliters that I will use again. I will fill it up now, so let's see. Yeah, and here we can see that we have some black stuff here. And this is what will get caught on the heat exchanger, inside the heat exchanger, and you will have to clean it up. So, now we just need to need to remove the magnet and this is done by yeah it's really hard with one hand just a minute so actually it comes out really easily and when after we take off this magnet we can easily wash off the the dirt i don't know what's on this 
I don't think it's leaking. Maybe some water got in from here from the top when you bleed this thing here. So this is it. Let's uh, that's a little bit too strong. And I don't know. Yeah, look there on the drain. So this blackness is all dust from the radiators okay so i will pause and i will uh, wash it as i should as it should be of course don't forget to clean the inside yeah of this so i will just use a sponge a little bit of water the dirt will go down there and then i will clean it with a paper towel also this one we already cleaned yeah so we will wait a little bit to dry and I will also dry this hole inside while the magnet goes back okay so we cleaned this we dried it everything we closed that valve and maybe I should have bought back the that little plate or ball oh we can look inside it acceptable and it's clean and now we will add this solution it's half a liter probably it will not fill it to the top but it doesn't matter okay now i have two of these bottles and i have in total six radiators and the surface it's really big so I don't know exactly how many liters of water there are in the circuit but this says I guess on the website it's minimum so the minimum dosage is 500 milliliters per 100 liters now I, I, I have no idea how many liters I have but it says minimum so one liter it will probably be more than enough and uh, of course now we will put back the the top and what is really important you should never remove the magnet before uh, taking this out with everything because then the dirt will just fall off this plastic so we are lucky here that we can remove this without taking down the whole filter and um, we will just tighten this a little bit okay I will hold it with my hand so this will not stay okay so let me tighten this a little bit with the key yes that they supplied the key is supplied by them but I want to hold the filter a little bit okay so I tightened the top I opened this bleeding screw here and now I will I guess it's better to open the bottom one pressure is still inside the system so it should go this way we have air right here so just a little bit not too much because we don't have so many water here it's just this uh, inhibitor so we don't really want to uh, waste any of it so okay just really really slowly we still have pressure in the system maybe even a little bit more than it should be so let's open okay can you hear it okay and we will stop and we will close this valve i need to pause wipe it we'll wipe it clean and probably this is what got into the magnet combined with water it oxidized a little bit that's no problem okay and now uh, we will open the two valves and uh, 
we will start the heat so uh, all this solution gets mixed in the in the circuit and only after that I will bleed the air again okay so let's power on the boiler yeah into winter mode yes and uh, okay let's wait to see what is doing okay it stopped and now we need to start the heating and this is the only way to do it oh sorry this one this one and this one so we start in all four zones we can hear the switch okay and we started actually the water is quite warm it was working before i stopped it okay so that's it i didn't hear any air or nothing so probably i will leave it running a little bit and then i will try to bleed the air a little bit more from here and that's it so let me know what you think i think uh, this filter really does its job and uh, probably also besides the filter this uh, this solution also i think i think it works best i i remember i done this before and uh, it was way 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 dirtier and only worked maybe a month okay so the pressure is good and actually i think it's getting to the <laughs> right point now okay guys this is it let me know what you think this one is not so uh, cheap to buy but i think it's worth it and together with the solution you can make uh, the life of the heat exchanger a lot longer yeah okay thanks for watching bye bye